morning and we're going to continue our, our discussion about uh, a leather house and what kind of structure could or it might not have. I mean, typically a house will have a house master or a house mistress. Sometimes those might be called the headmaster, the headmistress. There could be more than one dominant within a house structure and of course more than one submissive within a house structure. And that house could could be, you know, any size, whatever it evolves to. Uh, house Mermaid ended up being 17 core family members. Uh, we typically tried to invite 35 to 40 people to our parties every month, uh, but, but we had the dungeon space uh, and the space in the house to be able to easily do that. But within a house structure, whether it's structured as a European house or an Eastern house, there are positions that naturally can or can evolve or uh, can be put in place. And I'm just gonna name off some of these positions. Uh, I, I probably won't be able to think of all the possibilities. So by all means, contribute in the comments section other ideas but some of the positions that are of value within a leather house is a boot black position uh, because we all need to be able to maintain our leathers and maintain our boots. And uh, a boot black, uh, you could have an armor, armorer. Uh, you could have a bladesmith. Obviously, the bladesmith is in charge of keeping all the knives sharp, whether there are knives for play or just uh, knives in the, in the house kitchen. Uh, a master at arms or a major domo to resolve uh, any, or any conflicts that might occur within the house or within dungeon play. Uh, dungeon monitors. Uh, usually the alpha submissive uh, or the, it could be called the lady of the house. Uh, house submissive is, is a position. House slave is a different type of position. You could have a wax attendant if you have a wax station in the dungeon. Um, there could be a house cook that's in charge of uh, food preparation. Um, I personally, even though I'm that was the house master, I love to cook. So I was usually in the kitchen cooking before and after. A gathering. Uh, you could have a housemaid, a house butler, uh, a foot servant, massage therapist. There are all these different positions that can happen within a leather structure, a leather house, that are all of value and, and all contribute uh, in a different, each in a different valuable way to the leather experience. So sometimes the headmaster will appoint people, house members to certain positions. Other times the house members themselves will petition the headmistress or the headmaster uh, for a position. Uh, I personally like the idea of petition because if someone petitions, they're already interested in doing something to contribute in serving in a certain way, or maybe they have a particular interest uh, in being the bladesmith uh, because it's something that, that they're interested in, they like doing. Um, sometimes there's a function that just needs to be filled and uh, no one volunteers or petitions to fill it and the headmaster or headmistress just has to appoint someone to that position because it's so valuable and so valued so important. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.